Well, first of all, we have been working sustainably for many years and have actually achieved uh, progress in that area. So when we, for instance, set targets on how the uh, green procurement uh, should actually take place, um, I think this is a, a path to actually be able to exemplify how we uh, develop a well, sustainable development or a, a green economy. We have actually uh, done it for, for quite many years and that's an important contribution in the international negoti uh, negotiations. Well, there's no doubt that for, for the time being, the preparation towards Rio Plus 20 um, tend to, to be, well, a, a bit fuzzy. I mean, it's, it's, it's going in many directions. And, uh, well, being uh, part of, of, of the Nordic Council, I mean, we have, we, we, we tend to, we, we want to focus. And we uh, insist on, on being very specific and, and being very uh, concrete on the work. What are the, the tools that we need to develop? What kind of framework are we talking about? So I think that's uh, well part of our Nordic culture that, that we want to be specific and that we want to make it workable in real life. So, so that's, uh, that's a Nordic contribution to that as well. Well, I've heard the word trade barriers lots of times saying that that a green economy and, and sustainable development and so on is a is just another word for creating new trade barriers and honestly to me it's a bad excuse because this is not a matter of creating trade barriers not at all this is a matter of creating a global movement towards uh, sustainable consumption and uh, development I think it's a, it's a strengthening in the shift that we talk mainly now more about green economy. And the reason why it's a good idea is it's because it's, it's easier to understand in the broad public. So when you talk about sustainable development, it's, it's very, well, it, it, it tends to be very technical. So talking about green economy actually embraces the whole market for green economy and this is not only the market for, for green technologies but this is the market for the movement towards a sustainable development but doing it by actually insisting on having a green economy having all the life cycles uh, life cycle analysis analysis for instance so so i think it's a, it's it's a positive actually that we're talking about green economy because it's it's easier to to have well, a wider acceptance uh, in our uh, different countries.